This is Nine News with Alice Monfort. Good evening and welcome to Nine's Late News. We begin with breaking news and there's an alert out tonight over the rollout of the COVID vaccine in Britain. Two healthcare workers who were vaccinated yesterday have had an allergic reaction and regulators are now saying people with significant allergies to foods, medicines or vaccines should not receive the jab. Those patients are recovering from the reaction. Well, it's a threat that's been on the rise. Police say even more so during the pandemic. And tonight, proof that threat is being taken very seriously. Terrorism allegations levelled against a teenager with extreme right-wing views, accused of encouraging others online to commit mass casualty events and expressing his own desire to carry out attacks. The 18-year-old was arrested in Albury, New South Wales by federal police who claim he's a sympathiser of neo-Nazis and white supremacists. Reporter Bill Hogan is at police headquarters in Sydney. Bill, good evening. The 18-year-old remains behind bars tonight. That's right, Alice. Tyler's, Tyler Yakovac is currently held up at Albury Police Station. He'll front court tomorrow where he's expected to be charged after a joint investigation with New South Wales Police and the AFP. His offences uh, include urging violence against members or groups and advocating terrorism. Now, these are offences that could land him behind bars for a, at least five years, but authorities are urging the community to not stress about an ongoing threat threat there, but they are encouraging people to report any extremist activity to the police. Alice. OK, Bill, thank you. Well, the first pre-sale tickets for cricket's biggest day of the year go up for grabs tomorrow. And tonight, there's hope more fans will be at the MCG for the Boxing Day test. Current restrictions only allow for a quarter of the stadium's capacity, but officials are talking about increasing the crowd cap for the match. Nine Stephanie Anderson is outside the MCG for us tonight. Steph, good evening. Now, Cricket Australia made a direct request to the Premier for more seats. What was his response? That if we can increase beyond the cap, that would be a fantastic outcome, Alice. But right now, the number sits at 25,000 people per day here at the MCG for the duration of the Boxing Day test. And while the Premier certainly sounds open to increasing that number, he has warned it would be unwise to assume it could be as much as doubled to 50,000 fans. Now, ultimately, the final decision will rest with the health officials here in Victoria, in particular the Chief Health Officer. And no doubt it's a number that Cricket Australia is sweating on. As you say, some of the first tickets will go on sale. They're pre-sale tickets to some very lucky select cricket fans from tomorrow afternoon before the general public sales are expected to kick off on Friday. And regardless of how many are available, there's no doubt they're going to be snapped up pretty quickly. These are certainly some of the hottest tickets in town here in Melbourne this summer, Alice. Uh, it's always a big match, Steph. Thank you. Well, across the nation tonight, an entire fleet of fighter jets are sitting idle. The Defence Force taking...